Hello and welcome to Art, Mind and Soul, a series of short videos produced to introduce artists whose work features in Bethlehem Museum of the Mind's collections to a wider audience and to whet the appetite to see more. Brian Charnley was the first artist we introduced in this way and we took the opportunity then to promote online sales of his biography entitled Art and Adversity. You can find uh, it for sale on our online shop. Well, we don't have a book to recommend for sale in connection with the second artist we're featuring, but the work is equally compelling, and it's the work of Elise Warriner Paquette. I'm standing between two of her works, Protecting the Heart on this side and Eating the Heart Out on the other. I'll say more about the circumstances in which these were produced in a future video, uh, but today I'll focus on my own personal history with them. I've worked at the museum here for nearly 20 years now, and I can honestly say that I was gripped by the emotional intensity of these artworks the first time I saw them, long before I ever met the artist. Over the years, they've been the subject of great interest and of many loan requests from other museums. The furthest they have travelled so far is to Belgium, to Museum Dr. Gieslane in Ghent. I remember their journey there well because in early 2004 I was one of the couriers. Alongside one of my predecessors as director here at Bethlehem Museum of the Mind, I placed these works into custom-built portfolios, took a Eurostar train across the English Channel and delivered them safely to the borrowing museum in person. It was something of an adventure for both of us and helped to seal a very fruitful set of relationships with colleagues at that museum. I can also tell you from personal experience that these pictures are quite light when you first uh, pick them up, but if you carry them any distance they soon get very heavy. Museum Dr. Gieslane borrowed these pictures to support a temporary exhibition on the theme of the heart. This was a rich theme given the cultural significance of the heart through history. As a vital organ sustaining physical life, of course, but also as a metaphor for the mental, emotional and spiritual heart or centre of a person. The emotional association is probably the one that seems most obvious to us today, but that hasn't always been the case for all people throughout all times. The opposition between the processes of the mind and the reasons of the heart is, I believe, a construct of ancient Greek thought, much like the binary and dualistic distinction they maintained between body and soul. That 2004 exhibition at Ghent was an exploration of all the cultural associations of the concept of the heart. I seem to remember, for example, there was a section devoted to the First World War phenomenon of soldier's heart, or as we might know it, shell shock. Both protecting the heart and eating the heart out earned their places in this wider exploration by their vivid imaginative representations of desperate attempts at self-protection on the one hand and of self-harm on the other. There's a particular poignancy to eating the heart out in light of the fact that Paquette was suffering at the time she did this work from an acute eating disorder, a fact about which she's always been completely open. It is as if the work is referencing the biological reality that when the body has exhausted all its fat reserves, it will continue to seek nutrition from whatever source it can find and in extremis will begin to eat away at its own vital organs. It's fitting that it's here hanging alongside protecting the heart, which references the drive towards self-protection, self-preservation, which finally prevailed in the life of the artist. In a fortnight's time, I'll say more, uh, introduce you to another of Elise Warriner's uh, Paquette's artworks and to more of her story. As I say, we don't have a book to sell about her work, but there are a number of other books about our other artists available for sale on the museum's website. Just follow the link on the bottom of the screen below. 
Until next time, it's goodbye from me here at Bethlehem Museum of the Mind.